Terrence on the check-in. What's up, Terrence? Brianna. Hey. Hey. What up, though? What's going on, Jason Weaver on the check-in? What's cracking? Oh, man. Nothing much. You know, I've been Thank enjoying you for my having time. Me. Oh, no problem. Thank you for, you know, just joining in on my, you know, new movement. Man, you know where I got to? First of all, congratulations on the new platform. Uh, for people out there that don't no. know, uh, me and Brianna, we go back actually. Um, when you were when you were working with um, what 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 were they called? Hip hop Hip Hop Weekly. Hip and you reached out to Hip them. Hip Hop Weekly. Uh -huh. And you reached out to me then, and um, you were gracious enough to let me come to your home. I did an interview there. Uh, and with who was the chef uh -huh. that we were with that evening? What's chef the brother's Jayon. name? What is Jayon. it? Chef Jayon. Jayon. That's mm -hmm. right, Chef Jayon. Shout out to him. Yeah. And we had a great yeah. we had a great interview and we've just been staying in contact as friends and as colleagues ever since right. then. So I appreciate you so right. much for having me on the new platform. And again, congratulations. No problem, no problem, no problem. Thank you so much. But you need no introduction. You know, I call you the legend, Jason Weaver. Oh, I mean thank you. actor, <laughs> singer. You've been in so many things. You know, can't be. I gotta catch the people up. You know what I'm saying? No, which <laughs> I which have I to appreciate. Catch the people up, man. Lion King. Drum oh, line. my auntie, uh, my bad, my auntie on here. Michael Jackson. Yep, yep. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, my bad, my auntie on here. I was up. Like, I was shouting out. Yeah, but but not my my. Right. Uh, I thought my cousin just took it. Yeah, I was shouting out. Yeah, but but not my my. Right. Uh, I thought my cousin just took it. Do we got? Do we have a delay on our on our uh feed too? Cause you, cause you're coming in and then we interrupted each other. I just want to make sure. Do I need to position myself better or something? Are we good? Um, cause there see. was a. I can see there, you. I can see. Okay, we good and the sound and everything is matching. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I, I was just making sure because I we were yeah. having a slight well, delay. Everybody, for can y'all hear us? Can you hear us, y'all? Can Can yeah. you guys hear us? I think they Thumbs can. Thumbs up if you can hear. Yeah, us. they can okay. hear us. Cool. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. So we are gonna get into it. You know what you've been doing though. Uh, throughout this whole quarantine and then just this whole coronavirus pandemic? You know what? Um, the quarantine has actually given me some time uh, to really dive deep into some other uh, additional projects that I'm developing because I'm producing two different animated shows right now that I, we can get into later uh, talking about that. But I'm okay. actually just looking for follow-up projects right now um, that I'm looking to kind of, mm -hmm. you know, develop. Uh, take out mm -hmm. and pitch. Um, so it's this time has given me uh, that opportunity to do that. So I'm really, really excited about that. I've read some really great scripts in the past few okay. days. And then, and then prior to that, I was in the studio uh, working on my EP that is coming out uh, okay. soon. Uh, so I was in the studio, but we had to kind of, you know, shut that down because of of the global crisis, the the global health crisis. Right. Um, uh, but, uh, I, hopefully if, if things begin to kind of pan out or, uh, at mm -hmm. least level off, if they say, or plateau, um, mm -hmm. hopefully I'll be able to get back in soon and, uh, and knock out some more songs because I've been doing some right. great material on that end. And I, no, other than that, outside of business, I've really been enjoying my time with my family. Uh, um, right. I've been, I've been doing a lot of reading. Uh, mm -hmm. I finally got to look at the Game of Thrones and look at all the seasons because <laughs> okay. I I had never gotten into it before, but I love mm -hmm. it. I I I got into okay. that. Um, so yeah, you know that's about it. A lot of prayer, a lot of meditation, a lot of recentering mm -hmm. uh, spiritually. Uh, just trying yeah. to get as um as realigned as I possibly can for mm -hmm. uh this new normal that we're right. now in and, and, and that mm -hmm. I think, you know, we will, we will continue to be in. Um, for, for a while. So, right. Yeah. For a while. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. But what about you? Yeah. How you been doing? How's your family? How's everything? You okay? Um, that I'm looking to kind of, mm -hmm. you know, develop, uh, take out mm -hmm. and pitch. Um, 
So it's this time has given me uh, that opportunity to do that. So I'm really, really excited about that. I've read some really great scripts in the past few days. And then, and then prior to that, I was in the studio uh, working on my EP that is coming out uh, okay. soon. Uh, so I was in the studio, but we had to kind of, you know, shut that down because of of the global crisis, the, the global health crisis. Right. Uh, but uh, I hopefully... If if things begin to kind of pan out or uh, at mm -hmm. least level off, if they say or plateau, um, mm -hmm. hopefully I'll be able to get back in soon and uh, and knock out some more songs because I've been doing some right. great material on that end. And I, no, other than that, outside of business, I've really been enjoying my time with my family. Uh, right, I've been I've been doing a lot of reading. Uh, mm -hmm. I finally got to look at the Game of Thrones. And look at all the seasons because okay. I I had never gotten into it before, but I love mm -hmm. it. I I I got into okay. that. Um, so yeah, you know that's about it. A lot of prayer, a lot of meditation, a lot of recentering okay. uh, spiritually. Uh, just trying to get as um, as realigned as I possibly can for mm -hmm. uh, this new normal <laughs> that we're right. now in, and and, and that mm -hmm. I think you know we will we will continue to be in um for, for a while so, right yeah for a while so yeah yeah but what about you yeah. how you been doing how's your family how's everything you okay right everybody's good you know same here well, I, well you know i have a son so i've been you know multitasking just you know you know handling things at home being a school you know being a school teacher having right, a, right, right, right. um you know multitask you know per se but you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It you know that's the, definitely what I've been doing, and you know catching up on some TV shows myself because you know we're we're always busy, and you know I'm not a TV person. Okay, but <laughs> I've had a chance to catch up on some TV shows myself. Okay, um, I like Suspense, so I've been catching up on. Okay. Um, it's a show, yeah, it's a show called um, something about the fires. I can't remember Big Little Fires, but I've been catching up. Oh, on I've heard Hulu. of that. Yeah. Hulu and um, Netflix. Dope. That's Dope. what I've been, I've been have, have you, on that. Have you seen the show Ozark? Have you gotten into Ozark yet with Jason Bateman? I, I, saw, I saw one episode. You got to I haven't give, really, oh, I, I hadn't really watched it. Like, dive in. I got I to check it out then. It's dope. Dive in. Okay. It's, it's, it's worth okay. it. And Jason Bateman and um, what's her name? Is it Laura Lene? Uh, who's this co-star? Man, they're they're excellent in the show. It's well written, well produced. Yeah, you mm -hmm. you got to get into it. And uh, and Godfather of Harlem, man. Okay, see, so the let me show would right, you know, definitely write Harlem. Godfather of Harlem down. That's starring uh Forrest Whitaker, uh Giancarlo Esposito, mm -hmm. veteran amazing black actors in there, and some uh relative newcomers. That they introduce in that show, another one that's well written, well produced, well directed, um, and I fell in love with that okay. show over the quarantine as well. Yep, we we got some people on the check in saying they're gonna tune in to the show, so I had to write it down myself. So, oh, good yeah, deal. We, we gonna get into it. We right. definitely gonna get into it. So yeah, like, are you in Atlanta right now, though? I'm in Atlanta right now. I was actually in Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, like the first week of March, uh, because I was out there handling some mm -hmm. meetings, running mm -hmm. around and doing some business. And then uh, me and uh, a business partner of mine by the name of Joshua Leonard, shout out to Joshua Leonard at uh, Leonard mm -hmm. Studios. Uh, after we got done with our meetings, man, we shot right back here to Atlanta because this is where my family is. Uh, this is where my okay. son is. This is where my mother is. This is where my extended family is. So Atlanta's home. Uh, but okay. you know, I do. I, I of course. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was. Saying, I, I was gonna say I asked you that because I'm trying. I was trying to see, you know, if you were here and were you gonna be going out because you know they opened the city and I was like, I'm, no, I'm wondering no. how many people are gonna actually do this because I mean I'm staying in, you know. No, I'm I'm staying in because first and foremost, like we got a responsibility, you know, for ourselves, for our own mm -hmm. individual health, and then. You know, I'm around my family all the time, so I'm right, not going to put right. my mother in danger. Like, I'm not going to put my son in danger. Then on top of that, I'm not going to put my community that I live in, anybody here in danger. So, 
Right. You know, I just think when you kind of take that upon yourself to go out and to hang out, it's just, it, to me, mm -hmm. it just comes across as real selfish. Like, I'm cooped up in the house just like right. everybody, too. And I got a lot of stuff that I could be right. doing, too. But, you know, there's, there's, there's something bigger at work going on right now. And it's like, damn, is it that mm -hmm. important to go to the club and get a cranberry and vodka running? You like, sit your goofy ass yeah. down. You feel me? But the thing, they they have the, the liquor stores open, so just drink in the house. I mean, just drink in the house. That's what I've been doing. You know, it's not that, right. It's not that serious. It's, it's not that really serious. Not. It's really not. But I, I hope, and, and really, it's the youth. Like, I hope that the youngsters really begin to reevaluate and reassess what they're doing by going out mm -hmm. and hanging out because i've seen the videos like everybody else and it's just mm -hmm. like man dog like i get it it's summertime you know right. the weather's getting warmer everybody want to do their thing but man you got a grandmother you did right. you got you you got a mom you, you, you got a dad stuff back in the house that you know you bring it back understand. in the house people don't understand that what That's do you crazy. think what do you think about this whole 5g conspiracy do you, do you think it's a conspiracy theory I mean, I got to be honest with you, Brianna. I haven't put that much thought into it. Uh, okay. Because whenever, whenever something happens, there's always some kind of can underlying conspiracy that mm -hmm. somebody is trying to explain what it is. And, you know, I'll just be honest, man. If something is moving around this aggressively, uh, where it's taking people out,